Hello guys, welcome to our Firmora tutorial number 7. This time, picture and picture effect. Have you ever been watching a video and suddenly another video appears? Another? Videos over videos? Please don't be scared. This is just the picture and picture effect. Let's learn how to do this using Firmora. Remember, if you're watching this video from YouTube, down in the video description, you will find a link to the Fulfill Mora playlist. If you just click on the link, then you will see all the Fulfill Mora tutorials we are making. And we will be adding new tutorials every week. So, let's come back to the video and let's get started. Let's overlay some videos. Double click on Filmora's icon. It's opening up. Always remember for YouTube, 16x9 and full feature mode. And you visit. Let's import some videos. We go to the main navigation panel, uh, click on media and then import. Import media files. Let's select a video. This one will be ok. Click on it and open. The video comes to the my navigation panel. Now let's drag it to the timeline. Until now we have always used the first video track. Remember? The timeline is composed of video tracks, these two, a text track and some audio tracks. Until now we have always used the first video track. You select a video or a picture, click on it and drag it to the timeline. You can position the marker and preview any part of the video. Let's play this. Top habits for how to keep your room clean. Cleaning your room is one thing. Okay, that is right. Now we want to overlay some videos over this one. What do we do? Well, of course, you select those videos. Import, with a file, and let's find two or three videos. Like this one, click on this. Hold control, click on this. Let's select another. And this one may be okay. Holding control, and then open. Now we have three more videos. Let's try to overlay them. Let's click on the timeline. Now we're seeing this video. You click on a video and drag it to the second video track. This way. The videos in a lower track cover the videos in an upper track. You see, we position the marker over here. Here in the preview window, we are seeing this video. This one. If you play, you continue seeing this video. Till the moment the other video kind of appears over it and covered. See? Lifestyle and fitness. That's it. So to go this is that, another video. I would share with you guys my top. Actually, now this video, the girls dancing, is covering the other one. The girl talking. To see that, you just click on the video, and you can come to the preview window and change its size this way. And you can see the other video is still behind it. You can move this video clicking and dragging it. You can rotate it by position the marker over here, clicking and dragging a little. You can rotate it. Change size and position it wherever you want. Let's position it over here. If we play now, we can see the two videos simultaneously. Let's play this. How to keep your room clean. Cleaning your room is one thing, mm -hmm. but that is simple. Let's bring another video. Let's click on this. Well, notice that now we have three video tracks. If I click and drag this video to the third track, Filmora will create even another track. Look at this. Click, drag it, and when I release, will appear a fourth track. I release. Now we have four tracks. If I position the marker over this video, see, this way, the video in a lower track, covers the videos in upper tracks. This way, if I change the size, if I change its position, we can see now three videos simultaneously. This way. The girl on the floor behind is this video. The girl's dancing is this video. The girl dancing is covering the girl behind because the clip is in a lower track. Well, it's that simple. If you play, you can see the three videos simultaneously. 
to apply picture in picture effect, you always use the second track or a third or another tracks. You can change its size clicking on it. If I want to change this clip size, just click on it, change its position. I can rotate it and that's okay. You can also apply basic editing like a splitting. You can position the marker, click on a clip. And then use the split tool, right click on a portion and delete it. You can click on drag the clips on the second and also at the third track. Just to get your desired customized video. Let's cut this video. This one, when I click on it, it becomes highlighted in yellow. If I click on this one, this one becomes highlighted in yellow. Uh, let's click on this. And now the shorten is duration. If I position the marker, select this video and split, I will only split the selected clip, nor this one, nor this one, but this clip because it's selected. I position the marker, a split tool, and the clip becomes a slice into it. Right click on this, delete. Let's do the same with this one. Position the marker, I like this moment. Click on this, use the split tool, right click on this, and now I'm going to delete. We're just editing. If I want to create a video of about 20 or 3D seconds, well, I can use the zoom slider uh, to close. Uh, this way will be okay. In the current Filmora version, you can also turn a clip by hovering over his folder, clicking and dragging this way. Let's turn this another, click on this. Over, over his border, in the picture and picture track, and let's do this. This one, let's drag it a little. This one, dragging a little too. And let's trim this. Over his border, drag it, pulling it, and now this is our video. At first, appears this video. Later, this video will appear. Position the marker, then appears the second video. And later, position the marker, we have three videos. That is how. Now let's apply some animation. Well, you can add movement or motion to any picture in picture video, to this one, or to this one. How? First, you select it and click on the edit tool. Click on this, and you have many options. If you hover over any one, double click to apply. That is how you apply. It will be applied to the clip selected. In this case, the girl's dancing. Double click on it. And now let's preview this. Position the marker. And let's play this. Play. And I'll figure out where they should go. Maybe they should go. Oh, animation. The animated clip. You see? This is the animation. Let's stop it. Well, we applied some animation to this clip. But now it's too big. You can also change the size, you know how, and position it wherever you want to. Maybe over here. You can also position the marker again, and let's play this. Preview. You it disappears with some motion. Very interesting, right? Let's stop this. Let's apply the animation to this one. You select the clip. Once it's selected and highlighted in yellow, you search for some interesting movement, some animation you like. Look at this one. What about this one? How to apply? Double click to apply. When I double click, it will be applied to the selected clip. I need to fix the size and the position. Again, change the size. I position it over here. And now let's look at our video. Position the marker at the beginning. And let's preview this. Play. All the things that don't really have a spot or a animation and, I'll figure out where they and appears the one animated and the other one too. can I stop it change a little the position as I want I can rotate it by clicking and dragging it a little that is ok this is how you apply the animation you can also change this audio to the selected clip now we are here in motion if you click on audio you can change the level, apply fade-ins or fade-outs to the audio of the selected clip. 
change the speech and many other things we can do to the audio with Filmora. If you select the other, you can also apply some changes, some fixes to its audio. Or clicking on motion, applying some animation, some motions. But there is also some advanced tools you can use. How? Clicking on advanced. Click on events, and you can also use mask to the clip selected. In this case, we have selected the girls dancing. So, if we want to apply a mask to it, well, just double click, double click to apply, maybe a heart, double click on it, and if we preview this, play. Now the girls appears in a heart. We click OK, and the heart is applied. Let's apply a mask to this other clip. You first select it, don't forget that, and then go to the bands tool, click on this, position the marker, we're gonna apply some max to this one. This one will be okay, how to apply it? Double clicking, double click on this, you can change the white of the mask and the height too, as you like. This is very useful. Well, it will be OK by now. Just click OK. And don't forget to click OK again. And this is all. This is our video. Let's play this. All the things that don't really have a spot or a home. Appears as a convenient. Where they should go. Maybe they should really go in my With animation and in more amount. OK, let's stop this. I don't want this clip to sound. What can I do? I select it. Click on it. Click on the Edit tool. Go to audio and turn the volume to zero. Okay? And now this is our video. Only the girl talking, you will listen. Play like this. And I'll figure out where they should go. Maybe they First video, go animation in a mask. And the other video in complete silence. Well, that is all by now. After a long day. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.